Lately, there's been a lot of talk about the city of San Diego budget and a $3.6 million surplus. A surplus? Really? You might have heard that the city is also expecting a large shortfall for the new budget year. Let's break down what the city and the media mean when they say we have a surplus. The city of San Diego creates its budget based on money made, revenue, and money spent, expenses, just like your family might. For fiscal year 2013, which covers July 1st, 2012, through June 30th, 2013, the city expected to make $1.156 billion. The city expected to spend $1.169 billion. That means we expected to fall short by $13.2 million. But that's okay, we pulled it from our savings. Now when the city looked at its finances in the middle of the fiscal year to analyze how much the city made and how much it has spent and estimate where we will be at the end of the year, the city is expected to make $1.167 billion and to spend $1.174 billion. So instead of needing to take $13.2 million out of savings, the city only needs to take $7.7 .7 million out of savings. This means that there's an extra $5.5 million that can be put back into savings or to fund critical services during the next fiscal year or to use for new things this year. Now hang on, it gets a little more complicated. $1.9 million must be put back into next year's budget. So 5.5 million minus 1.9 million means $3.6 million that can either go back into savings or can be used to make sure that each neighborhood has a fair shake next year. So when you hear that San Diego currently has a $3.6 million surplus, this is what it means. The city has $3.6 million taken from its savings account that is now available. It's not really a surplus. It's more like money that was allocated for one purpose, and since those needs have been met, can now be used for other critical services. If you have questions, please feel free to email me at cwilson at onlinecpi.org. To learn more budget basics, visit our website at onlinecpi.org.